Hi, welcome to part three of The Devil and Me. It's the same day, of course, and I'm just gonna jump right in. Please be alive, please be alive. Please, Charlie, be alive. Oh God. He better be alive. I feel like he can't be alive, please. I... I could have saved him. What? God. It wasn't your fault, like you... I don't know how you could have saved him. Is he dead? What? Oh God. What the fuck? Wait, you hear that? Yeah. From down there. What if it's Aaron? No way. Damn it's it. It's another trap. It's the only way out of here. So we're going to find out. Charlie has to be alive, right? There's no way that was his death, right? Maybe I'm just, it's just wishful thinking. But I feel like he's alive. Is this a good idea? I don't see any other options. Yeah, there's no other option. It's definitely not a good idea, but there's no other option. Oh god, it's so dark here. Very unpleasantly dark. Oh, oh, okay, I think we're Where heading the towards the, um... Oh no, maybe not. But I feel like we're heading towards the gameplay reveal. Maybe. Oh, God. Some showers, any obols? Keep looking around. Oh yeah, we're in the... We're in Columbus the Bar. gameplay reveal part. Cool, cool, cool. This is Laura at reception. How's Laura? The Columbus Spa is now open for guests. We treat each and every one of our guests like a real work of art. Son of a bitch. He's watching us. Yeah, definitely. Jesse Clark, um, KD General Contractor, Site Foreman, 11. So the 11th kill, maybe? There must be something useful around here. Can I not go in there? I feel like I can go in there, right? I guess not. <sighs> oh God. Got a naked mannequin in there. This way? Can I jump over? Yeah, I guess I could also shimmy, shimmy maybe. Uh. Oh, oh, I thought that was an interactable.
check here first. No point just standing around. Oh, wait, that's probably where we're supposed to go. Wait, maybe it's easier to go around though, instead of shimming it, because shimming it takes kind of long. <laughs> Can all visitors for the couple's treatments please gather by the oh. lobby doors in reception? Never mind. Guess I got a shimmy. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> Kate. I'll let you. <laughs> oh, she's trying to shimmy. Okay, there we go. To all staff from Dr. Pulley, April 19th, 1934, re-boiler room ceiling collapse. Dear all, please note that due to ingress of water from the laundry room, the ceiling through to the boiler room has collapsed, causing significant damage to plant machinery and water supply. In the circumstances, we have taken the difficult decision to close the spot with immediate effect until a repair can be made, which may be some months. All guests are being notified and asked to vacate the rooms by this evening. Yours, H. Pulley, Dr. Harrod Pulley. There must be Pulley. something useful around here. Columbus Bell. Structural repairs, $350,000. Boiler repair, $150,000. Decorate, $80,000. We can't afford this. Yeah, that's very expensive. Oh. See being that? watched. The lobby side? Where do you think that leads? To the lobby, <laughs> I guess. Is that like them being like hinting and being like kind of haha funny like you're taking so long? See the sign? The lobby. Wonder where that leads. <laughs> like I know, I'm just exploring. <laughs> okay. Now, let's Go over here. I like that the NPCs like move around and look at stuff. This way? It's a lot more immersive than them just standing in one position, you know? Or even just following and not, not doing anything else. Oh, I didn't have the... Oh, I did have it out. Never mind. <laughs> you okay, Kate? <laughs> You're right over there. Assuming not, because this is pretty fucked, and she thinks Charlie is dead. But I don't. I, I don't know. I don't think he's dead. No point just standing around. That's progression. Uh. Uh, worth a try. Oh, it's locked. I'll okay. see if I can get this open. You guys keep looking for another way out. Oh god. Uh. You're doing a great, great job, Kate, trying to get the door open by standing there. That's really cool. <laughs> But we're supposed to go here. Mark, give me a hand. I think we can bust through this thing. Three, two, one, go! Oh, oh damn. Whoa. And we're separated Wait. from Kate. What happened? 
We'll get back to you. Stay there. Just hurry! Oh, that hurt. I can imagine that hurt. <laughs> what? This, this wasn't in the script. I... Oh, poor Laura. It's so dark. Assuming that's where I'm supposed to go. Or not. I genuinely can't tell. I feel like the walls can't move around down here, right? Ooh, business card. Um, Grand Theft Automat Builder. He just has a bunch of business card with different um, titles. <laughs> cool. Three out of five. Oh. I hear the breathing. All right, let's go. Oh, oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> I need to stop. <laughs> It's funny though. Ooh. Oh. Poor woman. <sighs> okay. Jesse, I quit with immediate effect. By the time you read this, I will have already left the island. Don't come looking for me. I quit. I'm done, Monica. That's fake. Right? That's what the Met set up. To make them at least not question for a little bit why someone's gone. Murphy, senior, ele senior electrician. Number nine. So is this like the order that he killed them in? Or something like that? Because that is messed up. Uh... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Am I tripping or... Am I completely turned around? Bye, curator. Ooh! <laughs> Jeez. Am I just turned around? I think I'm just turned around. Nice, oval. Ooh, this is a huge one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Holy shit. So I'm at 40 now. Nice. Oh, wow. Frank Haldeman, uh, project engineer, Jesus. Number 10. So let go, let's go back because I didn't go. Oh. Oh, I guess this is. Wait, what's this? Oh, this is where I came from. All right, all right, now I get it. Okay. Cool. 
So let's go towards the light way. So I can turn off my flashlight for a bit. Nice. I can't look at that. Uh, oh, I don't need that. Okay, cool. Let's go. Stop watching us like a big perv. Ooh, nice chunk. Stay close. Obviously. <laughs> Oh. Oh god. Oh. Ooh. Oh wow. What the fuck just happened? You tell me. Um This place is really dark. Okay. You got this, Cass. You got this. Um. There must be a way out. Yeah, of course. Um. Oh, this is just uh, one. Still cool though. I feel like I found every single oval so far. I've been doing a really good job exploring. I think. It's so dark. There must be something useful around here. I f feel like I thought there was um, two ways to go up, but I guess it's just this one. Where I saw two ways to go up. Uh. Oh, jump. Got it. Uh, all right. Ooh, 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 ooh. I did it. Keep looking around. I am, I am. Um, oh, do I jump down here? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. <laughs> this part is really dark. Oh, shit. I did not mean to do that. Oh shit. There we go. No point just standing around. Yeah, but I just do not. Oh. Shame me. Wait, how did Mark already get there? Or isn't he already? Oh no, I think he's behind me. I, I swear I saw him in front of me though. Maybe I just imagined it. 
Yeah, yeah, I imagined it. Mark, give me a hand moving this shit. There's light coming from there. Nice. Oh. oh shit. Sorry, I started a little too late. Just barely made that. Oh my god. sit in the same exact position for too long and I don't really think about it and then eventually I'm just like ow my ass hurts I need to go to the bathroom anyway let's just I'll be right back I'm back my ass no longer hurts cuz I walked around a little bit let's go let's go okay been a little obsessed with doing like a really bad sorry mario impression for some reason checking how, how i'm lined up good um i don't know why it's really bad i just keep doing it did it find anything new no okay again that's perfect for normal crawling <laughs> i don't know why everyone insists on uh going all the way down on the floor. Shut up! No! Monica! No, Fuck don't. that. Shut up. What the fuck? What is this? Is it some sort of message? He's trying to scare us. Tell us something. Fuck's sake. Okay, I need a key probably in there. So I have to press it. <laughs> oh, this is so fucked. Oh. Ah, Jesus, poor Monica. Shit. Do you ever think about what you would do in that this situation? Because I do, because I imagine always I was always imagine the worst possible thing can happen, you know, stuff like that. And I feel like I would want to be the kind of person who just like lets himself die and sacrifice themselves to save the other person. But I feel like in the moment my survival instincts would kick in and I would just pull away immediately in order to save my own skin. But not actively, because like I care too much. I feel like I, I I wouldn't I would never actively do that unless I like thought the person I was with was like a disgusting human being for some reason, you know. Whatever. It's horrible to think about. I don't want to think about it really, but I can't help it. Ryan Hart, senior demolition laborer, number 8. Oh god. Your arm. Wait, where's hers? She doesn't have one, Monica? I guess not. Hmm. Spa master. Okay. Let's go. Oh god. Oh 
Oh, there's Kate. Let's check here first. Ooh. Nice. What kind of obel is this? Five. Good, good, good. Oh, being washed again. It'd be kind of cool if they added the obols and stuff into the other game so we could get dioramas for them too you know but i can't i, I doubt they do that but that'd be kind of cool is there nothing all right mark here let's move the desk <laughs> Oh, I'm getting hungry. Mark? Jamie? Here. Kate. We're okay. We're okay. Thank God. We found Reunited the key. Reunited and it Let's feels so here. good. Hi. We're back? Okay. That? The lobby kind of feels like our safe place, you know? But it's probably not safe this at all. <laughs> Definitely not. But it's so big and open, you know? I feel like it's the safest spot. 81, one more person has died. Wait, is that Charlie? I hope it's not Charlie. Oh! She's still in there? Okay. Mm. Is he back? Hope not. Well, I'm guessing this is right then, like right earlier. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my Get god! Away from me! He has a good scream, by the way. Oh god! 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 Oh, god. oh no! <laughs> There she goes, in the vacuum with you. Uh, Fuck. I wonder if I could have avoided that by running earlier. Maybe. <laughs> oh god, here goes the second one. Oh, I've been dreading this. Since I saw the gameplay reveal, I've been dreading this so hard. Kate! I think I know what to do, but I don't Kate. feel good about you're it. Okay? Please say you're alright. Get me out of here! I will. Hurry up! It's another trap! Mm. They're both locked. Shit. God damn it. What was that? <laughs> I don't feel so good, <laughs> Mr. Stark. I can't. Oh, I can't breathe. These windows are welded in place. He fucking wants us to watch. Wait, look. Regulator switch. Will that give them air? No. Not both of them. It's sucking out all the air. Whoever we point this lever at is gonna die. What? Fuck. Do something! He wants to choose, doesn't he? Oh my god. I can't. If we don't do something, both of them will die, Mark. Jamie, please. I don't oh want to die. I don't want to die. Please help me. Oh, God. I don't want you to die you either. Now. Mm, 
I feel so horrible about this. I hate this. I hate this choice so much, but I have to do this. I'm so sorry. I can't let the gays die. I'm so, so, so no. sorry. We had what to do something. You? They were both gonna die. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <coughs> get out, get out, get out, get out. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Yes. Break it quick. 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 Oh god, I made the right choice. Thank god. Please. Please. Oh, it's working. It's working. It's working. Oh my god. Oh, thank god. They're both alive. They're both semi okay. Okay. I'm okay. Oh my god. Thank god. Thank okay. god. You okay? I'm kind She's of okay. deserved. Kind of deserved. <sighs> That's kind of fair, yeah. What? What is happening? Dumet is playing a game, and it's no fucking joke. Now we're out of the gameplay reveal. Now it's, there's no more stuff that I've seen. You okay? Just leave me alone. <sighs> what? Look, we it's have to get the smart about this before one of us ends up dead like Charlie. Wait, Charlie's dead? Then he got what was coming to him. What? What the hell does that mean? When I was lost, I picked up a recording. It was Charlie talking to Dumet. It wasn't real. He said he wanted us dead. He brought us here to kill us. No. It was fake. There's just no way. I know what I heard. We need a plan. Forget his games, traps, all that bullshit. Think about the killers we've covered. There's always a weakness. Are you suggesting we invite him to tea and psychoanalyze? I'm suggesting we use our heads. I don't think it's that simple, We can simple, make guesses though. all day. But if we die here, it won't matter. I'm not playing detective, I just want to survive. Playing detective is how we survive. We yeah, play his games, we lose. True. We need to outthink him. He's trying to pick us off one at a time. We need to stick together. Hang on. He could be listening to us right now. Yep. Where should we go? Back to the ferry. It left, remember? It's on a line, maybe we could reel it in. Maybe it isn't good enough. The lighthouse. Maybe we can signal for help. Maybe. There's police boats patrolling the lakes, right? All the way out here? Lighthouses are meant to be seen for miles. He's probably got it rigged with traps. Then we gotta be really fucking careful. It's our best shot. Okay. Are you shooting any of this? No one is gonna believe it without proof. You want me to record him trying to kill us? In the bodies? For the cops? Yeah, maybe. What, what's happening now? More walls? Hear that? The walls are moving again. Kate, hang Don't on. run Maybe ahead. Close. Oh my god. Hurry. Shit. Keep up. Kate! Hang on! Ah. Oh. Ah. And we're separated. Ah. We are separated. Oh, damn it. Ah. Fuck. Wait, no, no, no! That didn't last very long. We got separated right away. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh shit. Can we save the camera? I feel like we need it. Oh god. Oh fuck. Oh god. Did the camera break? Oh! That was so close. Thank god. Cause I feel like we really need that. <laughs> that made me realize we don't we haven't gotten a lot of QTs, which makes sense. <sighs> oh 
Oh god, too close. What's this? What's this? What is that? Should I take a take a picture? Yeah. Ooh, a big one again, a 10 one. Nice. Oh god. Oh god. Who was chained up in here? This is fucked. Sorry, I'm just trying to find any evidence I need. I'm not excited for when we'll have to use the flash to see. That's gonna be horrifying. Cutter on his own good. Is that a better, better lens? Perfect. Oh good. Let me see if there's a difference when I'm using it. I'm assuming there will be. Is it just a better camera now? that evidence? Guess not. <sighs> oh. Did I miss something? Is he gonna leave behind a key over there? I don't know how to determine when the right time to stop hiding is. Oh 
Oh yeah, he left it open. Okay. Oh god. It's a bit dark. doing. Also, that was Kate's mannequin over there. it up really easily but I remember the snake shit they pulled in House of Ashes so I was ready for it oh god why did he move Kate's mannequin Two, ninety-three. Okay. Okay, seventy-two, ninety-three. Whatever that means. Um, we're gonna take a photo of it. And they got a super blurry 40. I hope that doesn't matter that it's super blurry. I hope that doesn't matter. Oh, there's the bar guy. Can I take a photo of that? I guess not. I'll take a photo of it either way. Just because. Zero zero two Too many mannequins in one room. Well, I feel like one mannequin in a room is too many mannequins in one room, but you get what I mean. It's much more than that. Another one, 6883. 6883. I wonder what, that's, what that means, what those numbers mean. Hiding here. Where'd all the light go? Oh, God. 
item at. Having fun. Wait, what's that? What the fuck is that? Oh no, do you see that? What the fuck is that? That's not a mannequin. Oh god, oh god, please. No, okay. What the fuck is that? This could be a weapon. Guess not. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It can't be a weapon. Hell yeah. There we go. Fuck yeah. That's great. Seriously, what the fuck is this? Press the button. Press the button. Press the button. Press the button. Press it. Press the button. Press the button. No, no, I can't look. I can't. Press the button. Press. Should I? I feel like I shouldn't. Sorry, but I refuse. That's a death sentence. I truly believe that. I truly believe that's gonna be my de be Mark's death if I if I do that. Oh, picture. Oh God. I don't want that to happen. <laughs> Whatever that was. Seems like it'd be extremely fucked up. Issue date, um, June 27th, 1989. Department of Investigation, FBI, Payroll Science Unit, Extra Monday. Why is the picture blurred out? Do we know Hector Monday? Hmm. What's this? Welcome new recruits. Yeah, they keep blurring him out. mean confidential well I don't give a shit I'm gonna read it anyway oh psychological assessment conducted by dr. Isabella Garcia patient name Monday Hector behavioral observation Hector arrived at our scheduled appointment 24 minutes late hmm. Once we sat down and began the session, he struggled to maintain eye contact. I feel bad. He found it difficult to articulate his feelings and was terse and guarded throughout. Hector has been working long hours and as a result, isn't sleeping well. Hector spoke about his recently deceased mother. Oh, and okay, she's dead. Okay, so it can't be her. He has not fully come to terms with her death. I strongly recommended a course of antidepressants but he is resistant to this idea, believing that it would have a detrimental effect on his capability with regards to his current investigation. 
Why would antidepressants Hector describes that? his work in immaculate detail. And contrary to earlier in the session, his thought content is both coherent and logical. He is displaying an unhealthy obsession with his work. But his recent bereavement may be the underlying issue. Okay. Uh. Oh. Okay. It's the same thing. Uh. Oh, this does not feel safe. No, it, oh, look at those little holes. Something's gonna come out of there and try and kill him. Some kind of something. Gas, uh, fire, something. I do not trust that. Oof. Okay, Jamie. Oh God. Yo, I'm not some fucking lab rat here for your amusement. He seems to think so. Oh, this is what, this is the room where Aaron was, that's a blackout, blacked out room. Uh, guess I have to go so there. Now what? Oh God. Oh, there's a fuse box in here. Okay. Um. Oh god, this one seems a little more complicated. Um. For the last time, do not pull the main switch until we get someone out to replace the faulty wall, Laura. Oh, this one seems a bit too complicated for me. Um, fuck. And now, um, maybe we should start here. No. Hmm. I don't understand where I'm supposed to go after these two. Is the problem I'm having? Is it just this one? No. I hope there's no punishment for failing a bunch of times, cause. Okay. Fuck. I really don't understand this one, so I'm just doing guesswork at this point. Fuck, sorry. That's what I did last time, right? I don't really... Hmm. I feel like maybe there's something I'm missing about this and I just don't understand how it works. Oh fuck. 
I'm getting there. I feel like this is probably really simple to understand, but I just don't. Ugh. Fuck. I don't even remember what I've already done is the problem too. Oh. I don't get it. <sighs> I thought I understood it at first, like with the other ones, but now I don't get it at all. What? Oh my god. Is it not the right order? Oh my god. This doesn't seem to be the right order. Huh. Wait, maybe I do understand. Hold on. Oh, I think I get it. Maybe. Oh, yeah, I think I get it now. Uh, kind of. Like, if I start here... What? Now I'm confused. Now I'm really confused. Okay. Huh? What? I think I figured it out. There we go. I got it eventually. <laughs> you gotta like start from the ones that don't really have any connections going to them. Is what I think. Yes, there we go. Okay. I don't trust that at all. Get out, get out, get out. Oh god, okay. There's right over here. Oh. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, this is Jamie's room. Yeah, you stole her jacket. No longer there. Oh, that's Aaron's uh, lip balm. Original.
I hope I can give it back to her. Wait, what did that update? Oh wait, a bunch of secrets, hold on. Uh, an ID card, Hector Mundy joined the FBI Behavioral Science Unit in 1989. His photo has been redacted. A photograph of a group of new recruits at FBI training. One of their faces has been redacted by a thick black marker. The man obscured in the photo is probably Hector Monday. Yeah. A psychological report about Hector Monday. There was concern about his mental state as he had become obsessed with the killer that he was investigating. Hector was investigating the Chicago killer at the time. And there's one more. A hastily written resignation note. This is a resignation letter from one of the construction company workers to the foreman. Mark found an ID card belonging to Agent Hector Monday. Jamie chose to save Aaron in the suffocation chamber. Jamie took Aaron's chapstick from under the bed. Jamie T's Kate. Okay, Jamie chose to save Aaron from the suffocation chamber. What's this one? Um, Aaron told the group what she found out about Charlie, but it's not true. The crew formulated a plan to meet at the lighthouse. Got it. The picture of her holding a lip balm hat or with her jacket. Does that mean I can find her jacket and put it on? Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, okay. The hell? Oh. Uh. Whose room is this? I wonder. Can't look at that. Ooh, an obol. And it's a five one. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Wait, this is, um, I'm pretty sure this is Kate's room. just break the glass oh oh that works too of course oh what the hell oh was she not supposed to find that I'm assuming she wasn't but maybe it's part of his game uh Ooh, premonition. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not happening. Nuh uh. Oh, Mark. Mark. Oh God. Jesus. Holy shit. There's cameras everywhere. That's from the teaser. Oh! 
Oh. So that's an actual corpse, yeah. <clears throat> Disgusting. You wanna know what it means to be a killer? You ever been to the art museum downtown? They got this painting by a guy, I forget his name, famous painter. He did portraits of slaughtered cows hanging on hooks. Uh, you take a normal person to a slaughterhouse, and they will puke their guts out. You make it into a painting, and suddenly it's art. I guess There's that's no true. no difference between the two. Huh. Not really. Don't look at me like that. You know I'm right. You get it. I know you get it. You got to do something that matters. Make people feel something they've never felt before. Shatter the illusion that any of us are really in control. Think of the most profound thing you've ever done. The most beautiful thing you've ever created. And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. To see the fear in their eyes. To feel them pawing at you for release. To hear them pleading. It's pretty begging. fuck, dude. That moment when someone realizes they are at their end. That's when you feel it. That's true art. That's what you have to be. An artist. A sculptor. An architect. Mm -hmm. I see the gleam in your eye, Agent Monday. You're not fooling me. Wait. Ah, hmm. oh, look at you now. Is huh? Agent Monday crowned from the Met? First? Well, come on then. Huh? I'm right here. I don't know why that this just popped into my head. You don't even have to wait for a plane to fly overhead. <laughs> Did he kill him? Did Hector kill Manny Sherman? There you are. I see you now. Oh god. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Their hands can feel good, huh? Mm. But the blade makes for such a prettier picture. Uh, you've got potential, Agent Monday. If you truly want to be an artist. That was fucked. Is that Agent Monday? Beat question mark. Okay, that's fucked. You want me to try? Oh, no. Okay, good. Whoa, compact? Oh, cool. That's cool. I like how creative they are with the lighting that they have. The only people who brought flashlights are Jamie and Aaron because they're the smartest ones. Can I go back? Because I want to look if there's anything here. As I said, always go back. Okay, there's nothing here. Hi. <laughs> oh god, it's 
so dark. Stay close to me. Thanks, Aaron. I need the light. Oh god, Aaron, please. Was that the anxiety book? Who says self-help books don't work? Charlie threw it down here earlier. Of course he did. Yeah. that hello can you hear me Manny Sherman, The Beast of Arkansas by Joseph Morello. Wait, hey, look at this. What? It's a true crime book. That's look Joseph? Author. Joseph Morello. He's Joseph so Morello? The fairy wasn't you met. So he's not dead. Oh, did he do something to get... Oh, to get Dumet to spare him and one of his daughters. And in return for living... They have to help him kill people, right? That's what I'm assuming. Wow, okay. <sighs> Can I? No. But honestly, I was glad to be leaving. They've been nice, fo nice folks, the stewards. Real nice. Both in their 70s now. Dad's still strong as an ox, having been a military man before moving to the town to settle and start a family. Mom was starting to get a little frail. You could tell she's taking it the hardest. Mrs. Stewart had made me coffee. She was function functioning okay, but had dead behind the eyes look. 26 years on, still living in the cocoon of numbness such devastation can bring. We talked a lot. They were at ease talking about anything. The night it had happened, the cruel details, how they felt about him. It was just a fact of life to them. Their daughter had been murdered by a serial killer, and that was their world. That sounds really mean. That sounds really mean. Maybe use kinder words. I don't like the cocoon sentence. Is there a more relatable metaphor? Everything? It was a shock when they offered to show me Mary's room. It was apprehensive, but it was apprehensive, but thanked them and agreed. I was apprehensive, but thanked them and agreed. It would be helpful to get an idea of the kind of girl Mary was. I followed Mrs. Stewart. I could feel the toll that the murder had taken as we walked through the house and upstairs to Mary's room. Her husband didn't like to go into that room. Things were neat and tidy, but shabby. We walked over a beaten old carpet, past outdated wallpaper and paintings, mostly biblical, that were thick with dust. The strain and financial impact must have been huge. Mrs. Stewart hadn't worked since Mary's death. Again, again sounds really mean. Can you not just say that they had a rough time of it without being so descriptive? Maybe explain why? Did she find it difficult to face anyone? Is Dumet trying to like get him to write a book and like dictating how he does it or something 
because he seemed to like this author. Her schoolwork was stacked by her old bed, and her childhood toys and dolls were still displayed on shelves. What stuck out the most, though, was her uniform, still hanging on the front of the wardrobe, ready for a shift at the diner the next day. Mary was a tiny girl, only 5'1", and weighed less than 100 pounds. She didn't stand a chance that night she was taken. I kept thinking about her room as I drove through the town. Milton would have been an unremarkable place in 1995, but it was close to lifeless now. Oh, oops. It was close to life, mostly bordered up buildings. The only open shops were liquor stores, which had bums outside them drinking at 11 a.m. It was as if the town had died when Mary did. Eventually, Milton faded into my in my rear, rear, rear view mirror, mirror, blah, 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 rear view mirror, as the image of Mary's uniform burned into my mind. Go hug Natalie right now, please. Later the next day, I finally got back to her house, scrambling over a package sat on our doorstep. A brown box. I had no idea who it was from. Had Michelle ordered something? Curiosity took over and I hauled it inside. Opening it, I found an old tape recorder along with a quartet of tapes. I listened to the first one, the voice unmistakable. It was Sherman. Nope. Mentioned their interviews. Okay. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there, but I think Demet was trying to dictate how Joseph Morella wrote the book. Oh. In case you missed me, Michelle, morning, writing 8 a.m., requested to use the library or the music lounge, so assume I'm one of those. Lunch, family time, 2 p.m., can we down outside in the garden? Evening writing, 5 p.m. The bar seemed like a good writing spot. Dinner, 9 p.m. Oh, I can use my pen. Kate can use her pencil to find out what was written on the torn paper. Oh. Cool. Spare room code, 1999. That's simple enough to remember. Bethany. Bethany, that was one of the daughters. Was that in the sign-in book? Yep, sure was. <sighs> it's coming from through here. Oh god, that's where the code leads to. Connie. Connie. Oh, Connie's run off. I thought that was the brother, but no, that was the dog. Please don't tell me I'm gonna find a dead dog, please. I don't want to see that. <sighs> Please stop crying, Please stop mommy. Crying, mommy. Mm. So where's daddy? God. There's blood on the wall. Beast's body burgled. Arkansas, this week. The body of the so-called Beast of Arkansas has been removed from its grave by suspected body snatchers. Dumet. The infamous serial killer, whose real name is Manny Sherman, was executed earlier this month, and his remains were buried at an undisclosed cemetery in Springdale, A.R. A senior police spokesperson for local law enforcement stated at a press conference, We believe this to be the work of serial killer obsessives and are pursuing various leads. We assume there are multiple suspects involved, but have not ruled out that it may be an individual. Although the burial site is unknown, rumors have been circulating among serial killer enthusiasts for forums online since Sherman's execution. 
When questioned by the press about such online groups, the spokesperson added, These people who call themselves fans of killers are very foolish. True. If they were aware of the despicable details of such crimes, as we in law enforcement are, they would rethink their views about celebrating such heinous criminals. Sadly, they wouldn't. People know details and still do. Police refused to confirm the name of the cemetery to the media in the aftermath of the news. God, is that a shotgun? Not good. Not good at all. <sighs> okay. Um. Oh, this is where the thing was. With the hair. Oh, it's the it's a real corpse. It is a real corpse. Uh, oh my god! Oh my god! Great. Amazing. Oh, now we get to reveal this trailer's alive, right? I hope. Fuck yeah, he's alive. Good job. Okay, I knew it. I knew they couldn't have been this death because I feel like they would have made it look made it much more gross if it was his actual death scene. You know. Nice. An article cut from a local newspaper, Manny Sherman's corpse was stolen from its grave. Oh god, ew. An animatronic of a woman, real body parts have been used in its con construction. It's the woman from the vacation photo. The woman is Michelle Morello. She was murdered by Demet. A writing journal containing an early draft of a new book by Joseph Morello. There's a photograph of him on the back. Joseph is the man that met the crew on the fa ferry impersonating Demet. A tape from an FBI interview between Special Agent Monday and Manny Sherman. Monday assaulted Sherman. Uh, Jamie listened to a tape of Hector Monday assaulting Manny Sherman. Kate found a book by Joe Morello. The author's picture is the man who ferried them to the island. Mark found an FBI ID card belonging to Agent Hector Monday. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Kate found a dog bowl with an name Connie, mysterious creature. Is the dog going to be alive? Ooh. But that means I'm going to have to try and keep the dog alive. I don't want the dog to... Oh my god, that's going to be horrible. Wait. Oh, wow. Oh, Jesus. Their relationship is really bad. Holy shit. Why? Mark complained about Charlie with Kate. Uh, hold on, sorry. Uh, Mark complained about Charlie with Kate while Charlie was eavesdropping. Mark called Charlie a pain in the ass while Charlie was eavesdropping. Mark was supportive of Kate's decision to leave London Entertainment while Charlie was eavesdropping. <laughs> Charlie confronted Mark for being disloyal. Mark was unimpressed with Charlie's bad mood as sarcastic comment about missing cigarettes. Oops. That one conversation ruined their relationship. Shit. I hope that doesn't have horrible consequences. 
Hmm. Oh god. Isn't this a door by Jamie? Unless it's a different one. That leads to a shower. I feel like that's bad news. I definitely have to push that. Wait, is this where I have to go? Oh, this is probably a bad idea. No. Bye. I'm not risking that. <laughs> This is definitely, Grantham is definitely Hector Monday. One thousand percent. I don't have a lighting light light source. Is there a light switch anywhere? Wait, what's that? Oh god, I don't like this. That's probably the light switch. Yeah. Much better. Oh. Trauma. Uh, okay. Ooh, this is gross. Well, it's anatomy, but it's creepy. Um, automated waste disposal unit. The thing on the side showed up for a second, but okay. Uh, keep off riding on the conveyor at any time because severe injuries. Uh, remember to switch off and lock out. Stay clear of the moving belt. Evacuate via the immediate immediate emergency ladders. Feel like I'm gonna have to do that. Mm -mm. What's in there? Oh, there. What's this? Federal Bureau of Investigation of Depart Investigation Department of Justice. Good, I looked back and found that. That seems like it's pretty vital.
fucking fake. Please. What? Jesus. Seems I do have to go here. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe I should go back to the shower. You know? Maybe. Maybe that's safer. Oh god. Okay, thank you. Maybe the shower is safer than that. Okay. Oh, it's just to see that. Probably a bad idea. Don't fall. Don't fall. Oh no. Picture of Mark and Kate. Oh, I guess he's not getting rid of that. All right. Can't believe I did that. This game is so good. Shit. Shit. Oh, God. 
It's me. Here. Jamie? Thank God. Thank God. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh. Oh my god. Adorable. What the hell is this? Pleased to see you too, Kate. Glad you're alive. Listen, I found out some new information. What? That guy on the ferry? That was not Dumet. That was Joseph Morello. He's a true crime writer. I found one of his books. How's he wrapped up in this? I don't know. In one of the bedrooms, there was a body, a woman. She'd been decapitated. Yeah. It was Joseph Morello's wife. I saw a photo of her. She was called Michelle. So we're not his first victims. Nope. Not by a Can long shot. Did you see Mark? Not in person, but I spotted him on one of these monitors. Thank God. I was worried sick about him. But you I should also still be saw Dumet running around. Oh. Oh God. What's this? Oh, this is his behind the scenes stuff, right? We're in here. Jesus. Holy what shit. Is all of this? He's got video feeds, recording decks, a mixer big enough for countless mics. Huh. He's watching everything. It's more than that. He's got utilities running through here, hydraulics, electrics, everything. It's like a nerve center for the whole building. Holy it's a director's shit. suite. Maybe we can use it to find a way out. Maybe. Look for something to unlock the outer doors. Yeah, true, this true. This all connects. This is how he's getting around the house. Oh, this is gonna be fun to explore. Hell yeah. And this, it's nice and bright, too. This is a lot. This is top-end gear. I mean, I know he's rich, but you could launch a rocket from in here. Oh my god. Please move. <laughs> please move out of my way, please. Charlie I love you, but please. That he's wearing a mask to put what he's doing on a different personality. That's probably just his theory because he can't reconcile a human doing this stuff. Take a look at this. Sorry, I didn't really hear what they said. What is that? The guy we saw murdered. It was a setup. There was no groundskeeper. Oh. Why would he do that? Oh, I did, that that didn't make sense. Us in I didn't for his fun and games. I didn't connect that. Nice. Huh. Then who was walking around? Was that just Grantham? What do you think it is? I think it's a mistake to say he's just crazy. He is in full control of what he's doing. Very true. I mean, yeah, I'm guessing at least. He's just not wired like the rest of us. What's the difference? Crazy implies out of control. Look at this place. This is methodical. Yeah. That's not crazy. No. He's been tracking us since we arrived. Mark Whoa. was last seen in the basement. Aaron North Corridor. Wait, he's wearing the mask as part of the performance. At best, maybe he's insecure about something and it gives him confidence. Insecure? Like, low self-esteem? Is he uncomfortable at parties? Does, <laughs> did his mommy not hug him enough? <laughs> Maybe. A lot of serial killers have mommy issues. Factor, but it could be a shitty dad just as much. Or an uncle. Any adult figure, really. Yeah, that's true. Don't you read any of our research? Mm, I just set up the lights. <laughs> Chicago Police! Mr. Monday, this is Chicago Police. Can you open the door, please? Mr. Monday, I'm Officer Stanley with Chicago Police Department. Can you hear me, sir? Agent Monday. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Uh, dispatch, this is Officer Stanley. I, I need assistance at 8 West 50th Street requesting immediate backup. 
I'm in Agent Monday's apartment. There's, there's blood everywhere and, and a body. I need immediate support. I think... Oh, there it goes. oh God. Wait, was it Hector's body? Or did he kill someone and leave him there? I wonder. I'm gonna pause here because I need to eat. All right, I've had some delicious grub. So now my stomach won't be like bothering me the entire time. And I also realized I took this shirt off and forgot to put it back on. So now it's back on. Okay, let's see if we have anything. Um, an FBI badge, that badge belonged to Hector Monday. Bloodstained Chicago police badge. I'm sure he fits the profile. Bullied as a kid, unchecked anger. Yep. As an adult, he's either an extreme overachiever or a cipher. Nothing between. He likes being in a position of power, especially over women. But why this? Why us? Aside from the unhealthy obsession with H.H. H. Holmes, he's copying the M.O. Clearly, he identifies with Holmes somehow. God. How did he build all this? Subject, my order. From Amber Harris to Brandon. Can we use this gear to find a way out? Maybe we can open those shutters in the lobby. Day sent, June 6, 2017, 1523. Thank you, Brandon. I have instructed our marker to proceed. We will keep you updated on progress with photographs at each day as promised. As discussed previously, we'll keep the production discreet. Thanks, Amber. From Brandon, Brandon Day to Amber Harris. June 6th, again. Good morning, Amber. Thanks for your plan and putting my mind at rest. Yes, the cause is perfectly fine. Please go ahead. Reminder, this should remain confidential. Regards, Brandon. From Amber to Brandon. Good morning, Brandon. I can show you that all of our custom masks are very robust. They're often used in long-running theater productions and filming intense action scenes. The material used for your masks is plastic resin coated wood, which provides a toughened strength and is highly durable. The total cost would be $1,800, excluding taxes. Can you let me know if this is acceptable and allow the instructor maker to proceed? Thanks, Amber. From Benedict to Amber Harris. Oh, it just cut off. Wait, so Brandon Day is killer? Is that like um, a fake name? Probably a fake name. That's what, like, um, Hector Monday, Brandon Day, you know, it's probably just like a fake name. Let's go up those, those uh, stairs. Oh no, let's... Yeah, let's go up them first, because there's one higher and then there's several lower. Hector Holmes costume recreation. Creepy. <clears throat> what is this? Hi, Mr. Monday. This is Lucinda Price from Twilight Prairie Care Home. I tried to call you a couple of times. We, um, I, I understand that you're making voice recordings of your mother. Of the recordings. 
Wow. Also some of the language used. We would like to ask that these recordings stop with immediate effect. Please do call me recording. Thanks. Um, that's that does not sound good. Oh shit. Fuck. Well, I don't get to Over explore here. the entire thing. I hope that doesn't Look fuck me this. over. It saw his little tricks of moving walls and crap. Nothing in this shit box is real. He controls everything from here. It's a murder factory. You're right. We should use this against him. Definitely. I find Mark. Not play Demet's game. If we trap him, we can look for Mark without looking over our shoulders the whole time. Aaron. Jamie's right. No? Okay, look. He's in here, right? So we get him to go down this hall and we trap him between these two moving walls. Ooh, smart. There's no other way out of there. He'd be stuck. So how do we get him to go down that hall? One of us is going to have to be bait. Fuck. No, no way. It's too risky, Jamie. So is letting him run free. I'd say that's more dangerous. Come on. No, no, no way. If something goes wrong, one of us will be dead. Yeah, yeah I'm not true. super into doing it, but I am done being scared of what's around every corner. There's no second chances here. Who's gonna do it? It's my plan. I'll be the bait. Jamie, no. no. Let's find another way. You don't have to do this. One of us has to. If you're sure, just... If it looks like it's going south, get the hell out of there. No argument here. Oh, God. Yeah, if she's gonna be bait, she needs it. You could use that as a weapon if need be. I'm gonna hang on to it. I'm more likely to need it. Yep. Oh... Please come back. That's my plan. Oh, I better get her out of there alive. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's enough of a moment. <laughs> Let's do this. Stick to the plan. Obviously. So how do we get out? Third floor must be a work in progress. Okay, be ready. You're gonna have to time it right to trap him and not me. Be careful, please. I'm on it. You'll be careful? Oh, if I see Demet, he'll wish I hadn't. Don't. Be serious, please. Just tell me you'll be careful. Tell me I'll see you again. Erin, I promise. You'll see me again. Good, because yeah, I think I, I think I love you. <laughs> oh! Or something. <laughs> I, I mean... Well, now I have to come back. Oh. She better not die. All right. That's all I'm fucking saying. Here goes nothing. <sighs> Aaron moves fast. Already at the I think I love you face. <laughs> but I get it. It's like it's life or death. You know, you gotta move quickly. Might never see each other again, you know? Oh god. Time to be paid. <laughs> Head down the hall. Keep to the right. What's that? Was this on the map? Maybe not. A secret room? Oh 
god. Is he gonna be right there? Oh god! <laughs> Fuck. Holy shit. Okay. More rooms being built. Hell yeah. Oh, this is a tent. I got seventy eight. That's a lot. <laughs> Amazing. That scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> Holy shit. Whew. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh god. Gonna me a, give me a fucking heart attack. Whew. Oh, there's a... Uh, there. Oh god. That made me realize we haven't seen Mark in a little bit. God, what's with the music? Oh, wait, wait. Ah! I didn't even see, sorry. Come on, bitch. Oh, God. Okay. I better not fuck up. I refuse to let JB die. Oh, God. <clears throat> Come on. Run. Maybe a bad idea. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Kate, hang on, please. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. Was it really that easy, or is there gonna be a twist here? Oh, there is a twist. Please! Oh god! Run, 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 run! How did that happen? Did he come out of another corner or something? Close it, close it, close it! Shit! Jamie, fucking run! I can do this, it's fine, this is fine, oh, I'm doing God. good. What's he doing? Fuck. God. Run! Oh my God! Oh God, don't fall, Jesus, Kate. Don't get separated again, please. Oh, fuck, of course. Damn it. Jamie. Fuck. Another no. trap. Oh, no. This is, oh, this is one from the premonition, which was being crushed. What is it? God. 
There's a reverse symbol on it. What, what does it... No! Oh my god. <coughs> Can it work? <coughs> I don't think that's gonna work. Uh, uh, Jamie! Uh, Kay, I think, I think when I hit this thing, the wall will go the other way. Uh, towards me, you mean? Yeah, this thing will kill me if I don't press it. Wait! I know, if I do press it, oh my god. Oh my god. dies. God damn, do that! This what is exactly what he wants. He's making you choose which one of us dies. But what am I supposed to do? I'm sorry. What am I supposed I'm to so do? Sorry. What am I supposed to do? Fuck. Oh my god. I don't know what to do. Maybe if I say I won't play this game, he'll let both of them live. But I feel like. Oh god. But the thing is, like, I saw the premonition of her being crushed. You know? But it's like at the same time, little hope taught me that, you know, being selfless can save you. Like, sacrificing yourself can actually save you. And I, I failed that. <clears throat> but what if they're using that to trick me into thinking that, oh, it's exactly what I'm supposed to do this time. And then, boom, Jamie's dead. But maybe... <sighs> Because I have the screwdriver, because Jamie has a screwdriver, I'll be able to do something. Whereas, like, and maybe if Kate had it, she could have done something. Or maybe it's like, if Kate had it, she can live. But if, oh my god, I don't know. But if Jamie has it, one of them has to die. I don't know. Because I don't want to risk killing Jamie, is the thing. But I feel like the right thing to do is to not play the game and hope that somehow we'll both get out of it. I'm going to in here to like ease my anxiety for a little bit. Um, an answering an answer phone tape from December 1997 asking someone not to make audio recordings while visiting their mother at Twilight Prairie. The message was from the manager of the retirement home where Lucinda Monday lived. Oh, Prairie, Twilight Prairie, isn't that where the cigarettes are from? Um, a costume design, Dumet put a lot of research and effort into creating a look that mimicked H.H. H. Holmes. An email thread discussing custom masks, someone called Brandon Day ordered a mask. Uh, Jamie kept the screwdriver for herself. I feel like that's going to get... I'm going to do the right thing and hope it doesn't get Jamie killed. I'm not playing this game. I can't do this. I won't kill you. Oh god, please, 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 please. No. I did not mean to do that. Sorry, this is the only time I'll ever reload is when I accidentally do something I did not mean to do at all. I thought she was gonna hit it or something. But then, just when I pressed it, I realized, oh, that's what she's doing. So I'll have to reload the scene. It's fine. <sighs> because I did not actually mean to do that. I'll do everything the exact same way, but I did not mean to do that. We're back. Fuck this. I'm not playing this game. I can't do this. I won't oh, kill God. you. Oh, God. I really don't want Jamie to die. What? What? Huh? 
gonna die. How the fuck did you do this? Fuck you, Jamin! <sighs> Wait, what? Why did she do that? Jamie didn't press the button saving Kate. But then why? But I didn't press it. Or you telling me I have to reload because that's a bug. See you in a bit. <laughs> I'm not playing this game. I can't do this. I'll, I'll kill you. It does it anyway. Oh no, it doesn't. Finally. Okay, it worked this time. Good. But I really hope this doesn't mean she dies. Oh god. She's gonna die. Jamie? I'm not doing it. She's gonna I'm not die. playing this game. She's gonna Look die. out for Aaron. For me. Promise. Oh my god. I promise. What the fuck? Oh, fuck. Jamie! Oh, Thank god. you. I don't want to see this. Thank you. Survive, okay? It was the right thing to do, but I don't want to see this. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Excruciating way to go. I'm glad we didn't get to see it. I Jamie don't want to see it. Press the button. She chose to spare Kate at the cost of her own life. Oh, Admirable. Didn't have to see that. People can surprise you sometimes. Meanwhile, Charlie has proved himself capable, surviving the furnace and every other obstacle. Who would have thought it? I'm so sad. I didn't want to get Jamie killed, but. Perhaps you regret not taking me out. But it's a on good way to go, you know, like sacrificing earlier. yourself to save someone else. Would you like one now? No, no hints. I see. You're on your own then. You should get back. I hope these chats are helpful. I certainly wouldn't want them to be intimidating. I like our chats. I'll be watching your progress. As always, watching very closely. I'm gonna end this part here. I'm gonna keep playing, obviously, but just ending the part and then starting the other. I'm really upset about what happened. But the way she was like, oh, look out for Jamie. For Why do I keep doing that? Look out for Aaron for me. It was so fucking sweet. Anyway, yeah, I'm, I wanna continue, so bye. <laughs>